What's going on my friends, Vitae Dubin is here and I'm back with another episode of today's in crypto show. I want to take a look at what's happening right now with Bitcoin, where it is going next. There is some critical developments that I want to show you on the chart, specifically on a two day chart. We have this amazing golden cross that just popped up a few days ago and what it means for the Bitcoin price. I want to discuss that because it literally had zero false signals since the beginning of Bitcoin ever since we have coming out of the bear market and we have this cross where the blue line which represent uh, you know the the 50 uh, the 50 of these periods of the two days and the green line is represent 200 when the blue line is above the green line we are seeing the bull market is you know getting this first phase the first phase we are right now undeniably in the first phase of the bull market. So where, where we're taking this next? In the previous cycle, when we have this golden cross happen right here, we had another additional approximately here, 70% uh, to the upside. And then if you take a look how longer it took to, to get beyond this point, it is approximately uh, 500 days. A little bit more than 500 days to get above this top. So the question is where we are right now. Are we right now at a point where we already reached this top, which is a huge barrier psychological level, huge resistance level at the $30,000, but we have this massive level of support in 2021, 20, in January, in June, and uh, all this uh, trading activity over here. So once we broke it, it serves as a massive level of resistance and we already see the first resistance came from 30,000 all the way to 27,300. But the question is, are we going to have this as the top and have another 500 days or maybe like in the previous cycle of 2015, if you take a look at this previous cycle, when we hit this top over here, we had approximately another 190 days right so roughly around september october when we finally broke through this level and the question is whether right now the 30k is going to be this barrier that is going to be hard to cross in the next like until september october this year or are we going to be like in the previous cycle? We're going to have another leg up to approximately up to $48,000. And then we're going to decline again up to the $30,000 level. And uh, pretty much by the end of the year, start climbing back again so that we hit new all time highs next year. But I have a hard time to really believe based on the chart, the facts on the charts that this year we're going to have um, you know, above the $50,000. I'm not talking about the all time high. I'm talking about the $50,000 level. Uh, we have a chance to reach this type of a level this year. Okay. However, what we need to realize that this first phase of the bull market does not mean that we are going to go parabolic yet. Okay? You can see this line right here, which is in the uh, March, April 24, when we have the Bitcoin halving event. Now, this is an important event, the Bitcoin halving event that when the prices are starting to really shoot up and gear up. So this could happen next year. But what about this year? What about the immediate short term? Well, it is not out of the uh, basically possibility that we come and retest the $25,000 level, even come back to the $22,000 or $23,000 level. It's not out of the possibility, right? Uh, if you look at basically when the golden cross happened before, you can see are we getting out of the uh, out of this uh, uh, bull market? We came down all the way to the green line, all the way to the green line, as you can see. And this was an anomaly, the, the, uh, anomaly right? This was a, a COVID crash. And if we look at the 2015. We came all the way down to the blue line, the below the blue line. So let's see where the blue line takes us right now. So the blue line is around $25,000 approximately. So it's not out of the ordinary that we're going to retest 
at 25 26 thousand dollars it's it's normal it's absolutely normal it's also normal that we may have additional uh like six months of not moving above the thirty thousand dollars it will still be normal we're still be in a first phase of the bull cycle because people have a hard time understanding we are seeing right now all this bullishness coming into the market right you can see for example this one uh, the bottom and you can see the red the, the red line and after this red line boom we are going all the way to the peak and it's true but how fast we're going to go to the next peak how fast right that's the question not as fast as you may like you and me may like right but you can see we are still uh, after the correction that we had in the last couple of days bitcoin is still holding above the ema 21 line right here which is this this line on the monthly chart and uh, you can see uh, <laughs> we are moving we are moving in the in a good direction right we are moving in a good direction but you can see right here that we will face like in 2019 like in 2015 uh, it's not going to be like parabolic right away we still have time and maybe like six more months of kind of getting in a range uh, of trading and, and and then bitcoin finally breaks out because thirty thousand dollars is not going to be so easy to go and just blast it through that easy and that quickly we have been too long below the thirty thousand uh, dollar mark right but there is no doubt that we are in the first phase of the bull market and you can see there is a lot of bullishness in the market right now I mean, imagine Bitcoin retesting a dozen line and then going much higher, <laughs> which is basically portraying by this chart what is happening. Boom, we came back to retest this line 27K and then we're going all the way higher. So there is a lot of bullishness in the market. In my opinion, we don't have much time left before Bitcoin explodes. But I want to, uh, you know, have you be more level headed into where we are right now to, to not be overly excited right now to go ahead and buy as much bitcoin right now because we may do for some another correction uh, where you can pick up bitcoin at cheaper prices okay before we start really taking off you might have another six months of this range movements that you can take advantage of uh, with your trading looking at the global environment we are seeing another yet another bank in us is going down the first republic bank people can get access to their deposit they're not really uh in a good position because of this interest rate hikes and uh, they're mismanaging the customer funds and the government is trying to bail out these banks but guys this is pretty the situation that is happening right now uh, and uh, and that is one more reason why people want to buy more bitcoin because they don't want to hold a lot of money into the banking system because the banking system may shut down <laughs> you know they may not give them the deposits what they have in the bank so they don't longer trust the banking system that is what's happening right now we have bank after bank after bank pretty much collapsing so that's 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 bullish for uh, for bitcoin we have galaxy digital linking up with 821 billion dollar asset management as part of euro etp push now etp is not as good as the uh, exchange trade fund etf but it's still a good way in the direction uh, to european citizen, uh, citizens we had this new partner of the continent the fund group was nearly one trillion dollars in assets under management and who is positioned the best to benefit from the rise in bitcoin prices of course no other than MicroStrategy, who has more than 140,000 bitcoins that it paid an average price of $29,800 for. So they're pretty much break even right now. And think about what will happen when Bitcoin will go to $70,000. They'll be one of the richest companies out there um, <laughs> with a lot of billions of dollars in their uh, pockets right there. So MicroStrategy positioned themselves very well. Uh, according to the recent uh, Bloomberg's rich list, the Biden CEO CZ denies that he has as $28 billion of wealth. He says, I don't have anywhere as much near. And why, you know, they're like showing this that, I, you know, it's I'm not there. I'm not there. That's what basically he is saying. But he has a lot. He has a lot. Um, 
commenting on the recent crash, like you, you may see this crash right here that actually happened. Let me show you on the on a one hourly chart. It was a pretty, pretty brutal crash over here in one hour when Bitcoin fell from all the way. It went from 27 to 29 and then in one and a half hours it basically crashed back to 27.3. Uh, erasing all of the gains. It cost $300 million in liquidations right here at this point. Uh, and then Bitcoin got back up to 29.8. And now we are facing this double top, this rejection once again. Bitcoin is struggling to get with the $30,000 level, is struggling to get. But the more attempts we're gonna get at breaking the $30,000, the, the more likelihood that the next time we're gonna pump and gonna be near, near $30,000, the next time it's gonna come through. The more times you break the ceiling, the more likely it is that it's going to be broken to the upside. So whenever you're gonna see Bitcoin dip in too much, that will be a great time to DCA, to buy the dip, because we are in the first phase of the bull market. This is the next six months is where you want to accumulate as much Bitcoin as cheaply as possible. And you want to diversify into altcoins and, and good projects in the top 20, top 50, and maybe help hold some uh, also in the top uh, you know, 100 and search for uh, more risky altcoins as well with a lower, higher, uh, with a lower market cap that can give you much higher uh, results in the next bull market but of course bitcoin should be the base of the of the crypto portfolio so i want to give you this update about the state of where we are it is basically uh, very likely that we're going to struggle with the thirty thousand dollar for some time and from this range of thirty thousand dollars we're going to struggle for some some time uh, but you know we might we're test the twenty five thousand twenty four thousand dollar level uh, once again, it will not be out of the ordinary. People will be freaking out, but I'll be loading up. I'll be loading up more at this level if we reach the twenty-four, twenty-five thousand uh, dollar range. Um, what else we have on the news? We have AI. AI, of course, is taking off the headlines. We have the Avengers director predicting AI-generated movies within two years. Think about it. In two years' time, you may be seeing some kind of a, a, a movie, you know, uh, that is totally generated by AI. It's pretty, pretty uh, big uh, idea that never happened before, but this is the reality, guys. This is the reality of what's going on right now. Uh, we have the big debate between the Coinbase and the uh, SEC of, uh, of USA. That basically, Coinbase tried to comply with all the regulations of the US for uh, as they formed and two years ago, they got approved by the SEC to do all the things. And now SEC comes and sue, wants to sue them for the things that they got approved. Now Coinbase is asking the court to basically force the SEC to clarify crypto regulations. It's a circus. It is a circus what's going on right there. That's why Brian Armstrong and the Coinbase CEO wants to go and uh, leave the US and uh, at all if they are not going to receive the clarity the innovation, the, the the big giant firms like Coinbase might be actually going and uh, and moving out of the U.S. Okay, Visa stepping up crypto ambitious with Web3. Uh, so they are searching for new software development for its crypto team. So Web3 is definitely the future. You know, Visa Visa is stepping in big time. Meme, meme coin frenzy frenzy cools off right now. But there's definitely, we can see the first phase of the bull market when we see the meme coins like Dogecoin, we see down Pepe, you know? <laughs> make meme coins great again. The Pepe, the frog, right? It jumped like 100x, um, which is pretty crazy. And it just indicates how uh, this first phase of the bullishness uh, is, is entering the market. Now, it cooled down a little bit, uh, uh, shading 30%. Uh, out of its peak, you know, and uh, but you know, this is one of these uh, meme coins like Pepe the Frog that can really do well in the bull market in the next year, year and a half because people are just gonna be FOMOing in like crazy. We're seeing digital euro uh, is gonna have maximum level of privacy, but I have a hard time believing in that. 
that is going to have such a level of privacy because it's digital euro it's going to be like monitored etc it's not going to have as much privacy as cash so and or crypto so basically uh digital euro seems like to be uh, inevitable and digital everything is going to be part of everyone's reality uh, because the governments they just want to to govern they just want to control everything right so it is it is in inevitable pretty much okay so that's what i want to share with you guys today i hope you have a fantastic friday i hope that you are ready to take advantage of the crypto markets ready to take advantage of bitcoin you're trading you're making your moves and i will see you guys in the next episode of today's in crypto show